thing runs cold. That is so cool, and the manual windows and everything, oh, and yeah. beautiful interior, this is, dark this blue. Is, this is really rare. The seats are manual. Yeah, everything. They're all manual. Now I'm gonna have, That's these cool. skins are gonna be put on new frames. Yeah. I've got replacement parts for that. They have to be resprayed. Yeah. That is so awesome, but, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I replaced these plates. Yep. You can get these, these plates yeah. from Stuttgart. You should still get them. Yeah. Don't lose these. These uh, yeah, the bezels. Chrome. Yeah. This is all new. These I are just original. Love it so much. This is original. And you know, this chrome just like it's so amazingly made that it lasts forever. You know, it's, it's just like it's exactly. It's it was made with quality and love. You know, now, this and is care. From a kit that you can get from the Mercedes guy. Up yeah, north. yeah, I know. Yes, yes, you can yeah. do that. I've done it. I actually fixed on my 190. You had the right, same right, issue. It was right. just sagging, so yeah, I, I so did this fix has got, it. This is the original yeah. style net with the chrome on it, yeah. which I just love the look of that. Yeah, it's simple. And, and this clean. is this is for the pre facelift ones. The facelift W123s already had a little different design. Of yeah, these. they had like plastic yes yeah, sir yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah this is the did you see that another mustang guy uh, that is crazy so this is the actual this is the european yeah. 1970s and early 80s style yeah that's the real european style on these that is so amazing and um those beautiful hub yeah. caps everything. oh yeah the caps are nice oh, now you can put uh 23 uh millimeter offset i believe uh -huh. it is yeah um there were aftermarket wheels made yeah. for this i found a set in lithuania nice i might nice. order them they're the yeah. right offset yeah they're 15s yeah so what that is, is you amazing go with a 15 inch wheel yeah but you go with a shorter side wall yeah, a little different looks yes. a little nicer and uh like i said so i might just amazing. go ahead and lift this girl i've got another yeah. shim that's about that high because mm -hmm. i carry bit. weight in it all the yeah. time they call them nipples or burls burls yeah. is the official term yes, you have one two three burls this sedan with the sunroof i've got one burls in the front yeah i've got the two burls mm -hmm. in my storage yeah two burls in the front and two or three in the back depending on how much cargo yeah. you carry yeah exactly because this is the this car has the standard spring set in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the heavy duty spring set for this car was yeah. the taxi that, exactly so so right now currently in the back you have how many two burls you said yeah, or, two burls okay, so you would need like one, right, to There's lift it up more. Burl, yep. Burl is the one I'm gonna put in. Look at this beautiful thing. That's the thing yeah. just purrs like a kitten, you know. Uh, the gas, just, the gas cars. They never had the hood. They never had that shielding. They never. That's had pretty it up crazy. Here. <laughs> this is all original paint. I love it so um, much. Oh my the, God. the battery bracket this. in this car has no corrosion on it yeah, and it's that's original good. that's amazing it's an original battery bracket yeah, that is amazing so yeah this is this is all i was She's down here so looking beautiful. for another alternator because i think yeah. i'm making a little racket but yeah. um yeah i've got the cover that's for so this a little plastic yeah. cover i haven't yeah. put it on yet that's all right but um, oh that's awesome i'm so happy you put so much love into this car you know yeah, i really appreciate you and that good. that's amazing you know but this is uh, an analog mercedes analog mercedes exactly with these uh these are, these are french beautiful DOT. yeah yeah these are German amazing the, yeah. uh, the e1 look the e1 standard yeah, that's yeah. nice and uh i actually ordered these buckets uh -huh. from uh -huh. france nice they came, came from, from france. france that's yes, awesome did. that's awesome euro bumpers and these these uh rubber skirts look so nice and feel yeah, so good yeah, that's are amazing repainted and fresh and yeah i know that they actually sell these still brand new i was checking the website the uh, original mercedes parts and um, they still had these uh available brand this new and this or aftermarket yeah um the fronts are getting harder to find yeah these are getting yeah. harder to find yeah i know um, because most of the cars were wrecked on either the right or the left hand yeah, side right so right. the front ones are harder to find you yeah. get the rear ones all day long yeah i know rear ones are just no problem but yeah. that's so awesome i think it's beautiful and you said you did like uh the whole front end on it the whole suspension oh, was yeah, done all the suspension and everything brand new in it i'm just adjusting amazing. it yeah yeah I just kind of in that much uh-huh maybe yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and put the uh little taller spacers okay. in the back because always carry a full tank of petrol sure and sure photography thing. gear so it's always hidden. that's amazing so you, but yeah oh, this is wow. my photography car i love it so much yeah and you have a sunroof option on this yeah. as well put which a is new windshield on it amazing this, i had it for a week yeah a little bit what a, this is uh, what a truck from the concrete oh company boy did to me. 
right up here. It just happened recently, sir? No, it happened oh. last spring. Last spring. I took the car out the first time, the damn truck threw a rock right on uh, the windshield. Yeah, oh. I know. Now, if you replace this trim on the front, you can still get it. This trim, all, yeah. all the pieces are $750. I've wow. already got the gasket. I might have go ahead and get the trim. Yeah. And then I'll have the windshield. But I gone. think, uh, uh, are you going to do it yourself or are you going to actually? Uh, no, I'll have a body yeah? shop okay. set the window nice, in and that way nice. it's warranted. It's awesome. That's, yeah, that's why good. I went ahead and did the dash and everything before they got in there. Right, right. But, uh, well, that's pretty amazing. I just love looking at this thing so much. Yeah, the black Euros have mostly black trim in them. And um, interior is so beautiful. Yeah, that is a amazing. Nice old car. I love it so much. Like it belongs said, to the Stuttgart Museum, sir. <laughs> you know, that's know where it should that. be. Oh my this gosh. Is, this is basically is amazing. This was called a sports sedan because the 250 was the biggest gas engine. Yeah. The only engine that had more horsepower yeah. was their biggest diesel. Yeah. And that had more torque, yeah. but it had about as much horsepower. So the 20 250 2500, I think it's 2493 yeah. CC inline yeah. six right. mm -hmm. was the biggest engine other than a v8 i don't know if they made a v8 in 83 or not uh they did but it was for the w126 chassis it was like 380 scl and yeah it was a bigger chassis okay. so it was they call it like a brother of the w123 pretty much okay so it's just yeah. like an s class older because s class if you look i've got the i've actually got and the sales brochures from germany yeah and the import sticker yeah that's the stamp. amazing but this is considered a sports sedan in yeah. europe yeah because it has a big six cylinder in it they made it 2306 yeah that was a little gas engine so this was the basically the pumped up sports sedan of its day yeah it's just they a used nice to yeah it's, it's a nice little car and it just it looks so beautiful you know like that's well, what i love when people keep them as original as possible and i really don't like when people you know start doing crazy things to, to these cars them, yeah. yeah all that stuff well you know? changing I mean, the rear just... gearing in this uh my economy at low speed is probably not much better but on mm -hmm. the highway you're driving 55 or 60 the engine isn't wound out now. yeah yeah how many rpm do you think just... oh you don't have the tachometer that's right that's right oh, well, but it's kind of like a, it's a I'm lot probably better. When she had the 388s in it, I was probably doing 3,400, uh, 3,500, and now I'm probably down to 2,700 RPM at 55, that so it's not stressing the engine out. That was why I did the rear end. I didn't want really the good. engine stressed exactly, out. Exactly, exactly. And so yeah. it'll save the engine, yeah. which is huge. Yeah. But going down the highway, this thing cruises along at 75 oh. mile an hour just perfectly. It's amazing. It's like a boat. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, awesome. Well, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the way it's geared it's now, it's beautiful. actually geared for European, or pardon yeah. me, it's geared for American roads now yeah. with a 388 uh -huh. in it. Uh, yeah. You know, they put 410s in Jeeps. Yeah. So a 388, I still have that rear end and the speedometer. But that rear end was for little mountain roads, like in Switzerland. Yeah. You turn sharp, you're going turn, turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah. This one, this thing was in Europe. It was geared to where 55 or 60 was pretty fast. Yeah. Because the roads were narrow, sharp. You were doing a lot of climbing pre-world war ii roads yeah. still except for stretches of the autobahn <laughs> that's still so amazing yeah anyway. that's that's uh you did so much work on this car that's that's awesome man yeah, wow yeah because i've been uh i've been seeing you around like many times i'm like one time i saw you at a gas station another time i saw you at the store i tried to like leave i, I don't think i left a note but i tried to like wait for you one time at walmart but i you mind. know I yeah gotta, i was i, I was trying to catch you you know but today we get back in touch with an you know. interpreter and, and <laughs> he's uh he likes the car too and we yeah. were talking about our cameras yeah he's also a photographer that's beautiful and uh, -huh. uh yeah i ran into him at my uh ankle uh, foot doctor's office uh -huh. anyway i got a scan yeah anyways it was nice meeting you sir thank yeah, you for yeah. everything you know i like your little red yeah you know sedan. this this But um, also too on the European, yeah. you have black here. Yeah, black, yeah, yeah. It's always chrome, 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 yeah, chrome, yeah, yeah. chrome. Everything's chrome in America. Okay, see how these pods go in? Yep, yep. You have two big nuts here. Yep. And you have right here, you have a seal. Yep, that's true. Okay, this seal, you want to make sure the seal's taping properly. Yeah, yeah. This, this is just your inside. Here's yeah. the bolts that hold yeah. the uh, pod to the body. Yeah. There's sir. two bolts over here. So what happens is, mine 
mm -hmm. it had a crack. Oh, it, okay. Uh, had a crack on it, so like when on it would top rain, somewhere? it uh -huh. would come in. Yeah, and I would Just see it in down. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that'll cause that'll yeah. cause yeah. rust in your yeah. wing. They call these wings. I know quarters over here. So yeah. That's why these are both brand new from yeah. Mercedes. Nice, nice. Those are genuine Mercedes. That's tailors. amazing. I love this yeah. little side skirt too. It's so small. Oh yeah, that's just how <laughs> they made it. Um, yeah, I that's... like the fact that they put this in the trunk. Yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> that is a cute that's uh, little add-on. That's yeah, the original, original thing. Sign. Yeah, that's it. It's never been out of the car. That is amazing. But, um, Two fifty. Yeah, so. I yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Yeah, because yeah, that's a pretty common right issue. Here. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely look into that. But you know, if you have any, um, <clears throat> now these are two piece of uh, yeah. moldings. Yeah. You have the outer skin, or the outer uh, outer pod, and then you have the inner pod. Check along, uh, check along the tail lights mm -hmm. if you have a crack along there, because yeah. we get so much rain out here. Sure. If there's any crack here. Anywhere water can come in, it'll get in. It'll get in. It'll yeah, get yeah. The water just—it's like electricity, you know. When it finds the easiest ground, you know, it just go, and goes. I just, to, uh, I just replaced all four of the rubber donuts on the back. Two of them broke. Muffler, and, yeah. And it was swinging a little, and I got okay. underneath, and I thought, well, I know one of them's gone. Yeah. Well, two of them were gone. Yeah, Holy I know. Crap. Yeah, this is pretty common. Yeah. So I, cars, I, yeah. I lifted the rear suspension mm -hmm. with my aluminum uh, jack. I had uh -huh. to buy a special jack to get yeah. in. I used uh -huh. to own socks. Gotcha, gotcha. I got a Sears jack that's that wide, that long, and it's yeah. real light. Yeah. You have to get under the Saab front. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Anyway, so I lifted her up, put the wheel on blocks, got underneath, and replaced all the, the uh, rubber, uh, all donuts. The rubber uh, hangers on the exhaust. Nice. Um, yeah. They probably still use the rubber. Uh, do they still use the donuts to hang the exhaust on uh, your car? Yeah, on mine, no, on mine has actually different uh, exhaust oh, hangers. It actually, okay. no, 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 it has, uh, it has the, like, it's a rubber hanger, but it has, it's, it's a little, like, differently shaped, you know, than on this car. Okay, you know? they're, so not, it's they're like, not using the round donuts anymore. Yeah, yeah, not really round ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I was wondering because I'm not familiar with what the newer ones have got. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all into all these uh, different chassis, you know. I love W123s, W126s, W116s. Uh, I just recently met a guy in Cedro Woolley with a W115. Uh, that one is actually in pretty poor shape, but uh, uh, I met him and I told him that I, I will help you out, you know, like to revive it and stuff. And I guess There's it's been car, sitting. Um, that uh, has the, the little fins on it. Yeah. Before this, they had little mm -hmm. fins. There's one up in Anacortes. Yeah. Another but one. But <laughs> it is rotted out pretty bad. Yeah. It's going to have to have a some welding it's gonna there. have to have the subframes dropped it's gonna have to be blasted yeah cut out where it's rotted yeah. and then and fixed yeah. but it's the same blue as this now this color yeah. incidentally this is this was a rare color this, this is year a rare color, yeah. and a rare color being imported in the u.s but this was one of the favorite colors but they didn't make many blue ones yeah there's a lot this. of beige yeah. oh white, yeah yeah um I think they made a silver. silver. Yes, silver. Silver. And there, was, um, um, there wasn't a red, a burgundy. Maroon red. Maroon, yeah. Uh, yeah. But the then, blue ones, yeah. like this, there yeah. weren't too many blue Yeah, ones this is there. a pretty rare color, too. Yeah. That's amazing. That's original condition. Yep, a little 250. <sighs> little, little baby Mercedes W123. Little that blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute, sir. Well, that's awesome. Well, I'm gonna let you go, sir. It was nice meeting you once yeah. again. Thank nice you for everything. With you. you know, yeah. Uh, I'll definitely, you know, you have my contact info. Right. If anything, um, uh, we'll hang out, see each other. So. Oh yeah, I used to. I used uh, to work. the owner driving away with his amazing classic Mercedes. Beauty. And there's my 190 that you can see. <laughs>